wanna pop a ball off of ya Chain swinging, clang clang, and it costs a lot Bitch, I'm always at the goal of ya And you are not badass, beat. Keep on going till you hit the spot Whoa, I'm a big bag hunter with the bow She got a big bed, drop her, drop her low Mama called me and she happy with the grow All hands, clear the deck Hey, little mama, yeah, you heard about me I'ma pop you like a pea, yeah, at a mommy Yeah, feel so hot like I'm chilling on the beach Yeah, baby in the sun like the Teletubbies Singing low while I pop a ball off of y'all Chain swinging, clang, clang, and it costs a lot Bitch, I'm always at the Guala, yeah, and you are not Badass beat, keep on going till you hit the spot Whoa, I'm a big bag hunter with the bow She got a big bed, dump her, drop her low Mama called me and she happy with the grow Never ever fall for a party that's an oath Now, just real quick, it's taken me a long time to play these, record, edit, and put everything together to make it as enjoyable as possible. So if you do enjoy it, leave a like as it helps me out. Other than that, guys, let's get after it. I'm going to be going for the Dead Space Extraction Platinum Trophy. This game can be pretty rough at times, I'll be honest. The Platinum's about 30 hours. It's going to require multiple playthroughs, and they rate it about a 4 out of 10 difficulty. And uh, that's very true. Honestly, as I played through it, I didn't think it was going to take 30 hours, but we'll touch more on that a bit later. Step one is to beat the game on hard difficulty, then we unlock impossible difficulty which leads us into step two, while also trying to get five stars on all of the levels. After that we have a challenge mode where we take on ten waves of necromorphs, and then it's pretty much just clean up after that if there is anything we missed. Now if you're like me you're probably going, dude what even is extraction? Well it's an on rail shooter of dead space, uh, you know those games kind of like house of the dead? And it plays exactly like that. But other than that, guys, let's jump straight into it. Now you might be thinking an on-rail shooter. Hmm, that sounds actually pretty cool. Well, let me stop you there. Unless you like having to grab collectibles frame perfect, and I'm talking frame perfect, on top of various bugs and glitches that I came across, if, if you still like all that stuff, look, man, this game's for you, okay? So starting off in chapter one, we're grabbing all the collectibles. We're trying to get everything in our first playthrough. So that way we don't have to worry about the collectibles. Once we grab them, we don't have to grab them again. Well, at least that's what my dumb ass thought, and we'll go again more into that a bit later. But for now, we're going to get these trophies just by doing the story and getting the collectibles. Now, right off the bat, the main character dies, and uh, then we just play as a different character. But it's okay, we get two trophies from it. And then as we progress through the levels, a lot of crazy shit happens, like this. The more I played through the game on hard difficulty, the more I realized the game was just annoying. But I needed to man up. I wanted all the Dead Space Platinums before the remake comes out. And as you can see, each level is going to give us a rating once we finish it. And there are trophies for actually getting 5 star rating on all the levels. And there's even alternate paths that you can take in a level, and sometimes even those give you trophies collectibles which will then lead to another trophy and that honestly made me on edge like the whole game you're constantly keeping an eye out for collectibles because again the camera view is timed it randomly switches on you and next thing you know you end up missing the collectible but it's worth it because we just popped four trophies some of those are for the stars and then also your accuracy and then we got into our next trophy which we had to go through this asteroid field and try and destroy pretty much all of them we had to survive with only 10% health for the trophy, and as you can see here, I'm trash. However, after a couple of restarts, we then finally beat it and get our trophy. Now, this one didn't take too long, but uh, yeah, you just get pelted the whole way up. I mean, even the ship is shooting at you. We finally dock, and then some dude like comes flying on our cockpit. And uh, yeah, we ended up seeing his orgasm face, which is great. And after seeing that, I mean, we were kind of down bad. I'm not even going to lie, guys. We were changing and getting ready, and our eyes kind of wandered around the room. We saw, uh, we saw a bit too much, but in the end, it was worth it for that beautiful pixelated metal. Now we move on to the next chapter, and at the end, when we're about to finish and get our trophy, they kill the new character that we took over. So there we go again, guys. We're on a death streak, but you know what? We got the trophy and a five star, which is always good towards our other trophy. 
Now we make it to a new chapter, and in this one we have to fight a giant hentai tentacle type monster. And you just have to blow up his tentacles. You also have to get his tentacles stuck in the fan, and that's pretty much it. Then you kill him by shooting him in the center, and I would later find out that this level would haunt me. And make a note that we got four stars on that level. So we end up playing another chapter, and we're a completely different person. We're playing as a doctor, and uh, yeah, this asshole kind of screws us over, shuts the door on us, and you guessed it, our main character dies again. It wasn't all bad though, we popped a few trophies and got some more collectibles. Then on this chapter, we end up actually taking control of one of the main characters that, you know, we've seen throughout the whole game, and he also finds out that this guy's an asshole. But you know what? While this donut was given his bad guy villain speech, he got got. He fucked around and found out, and end of the day, he got what was coming to him. We quickly then kinesis our gun to our hand, and then we start shooting the leaper before he absolutely destroys us. We thankfully clutch another 5 star, and then we eventually come to this boss in the next chapter. I wasn't too sure what to do here, and I was running out of ammo, and the next thing you know is like... Extraterrestrial genitalia just came for me. But then I came, because I got a trophy. Now we kind of jumped the gun, thought we won, and he turned around and ended up grabbing our arm, and we had to cut it off to escape for a trophy. We get another 5 star, and remember I was telling you how shit this game's collectibles are? Well, take a look at this. This is right at the end of the chapter, and if you miss this collectible, you have to replay the whole chapter. Dude, it's literally on screen for, like, a little bit longer than I last in bed. <laughs> Whose f***ing idea was that? Whoever puts collectibles in a game like this, I, I just hope the other side of your pillow is never cold. After that, we restart the game on impossible difficulty, and we get some miscellaneous trophies that we missed. That one was for shooting a box on chapter one, and then there's another one for taking an alternate route on chapter two to find a secret room full of ammo. Now this next part is not for the faint of heart. You remember that level we got four stars on? Well, little did I know, I was about to hate this game a lot more than I did. So in order to get to the boss, we had to go through the level. Now in this level, there's a pipe you have to go through and take out some enemies to progress. Well, it kept glitching on me and I left my controller for five minutes and it never fixed itself. After those five minutes, I ended up just saying, screw it, we'll go ahead and restart. Oh my god. Dude, why? After my third attempt, I finally made it past that part. Just for this to happen. Please say psych right now. I'm fucking mad. This, this is like the third time this has happened to me too with this game. Oh my god, we were gonna we were literally at the boss. Can't tell if this is video game or torture device, bro. Okay, so we restart the game again, we go through all of that bullshit again, and we finally made it to the boss. We had a really clean boss run, so surely the five star is ours, isn't it? Bro, let's go. That's gotta be five. Come on. That's gotta be a five star, bro. It freezes. <laughs> Bro, I'd be so mad. I'd be so big. No shot. What? Remember how I said f the guy that made collectibles for this game? Well, I'm going to double down on that because you also have to get all the collectibles, a perfect score on accuracy and a perfect score on perfect reloads, which is doing the quick time event. So you have to have basically a perfect ass run, which I, I mean, it makes sense, but I didn't think the collectibles would play a part on it. So we did all of this all over again, avoiding all the freezes, and this is what happened. Bro, please. I know my accuracy wasn't really great there, but please let me suck you up. Wait, what did he say? Are you, you reckon? Cleanest? Yeah, maybe. Hey, that's what we want to see. Give me my hard-earned trophy bitch police with all of the ratings finally out of the way and going through that pain in the ass experience we are on the final level where mcneil gets on at the last minute absolute giga chat he's missing a hand and everything but he just came rolling up and we get away and we beat impossible difficulty and this would give us two trophies 
Now our remaining trophies all have to do with challenge mode. There's 10 levels, 10 waves of necromorphs. Each level will have a trophy if we beat the high score, and at first, we weren't really hitting that high score. So you get bonus points for not taking damage, good accuracy, all of that, and you can see we didn't beat the top score, so I kind of had to go back to the drawing board if we were going to get these trophies. Now each challenge can take anywhere from 8 to about 20 minutes, so some of these are very drawn out, and you want to try and avoid taking damage at least until wave 6 onwards, so it can be a bit tricky. I retried this level and I used a plasma cutter and I ended up getting it. However, while on stream, we ended up finding an even easier way to do it. So the way we found out is at the beginning, you can choose one gun to start with. And then after you complete so many waves, you get a random gun. Well, the one you can start out with, you can just start with the foreskin. And that thing's going to just do the big dick damage. And it made this a lot easier. Not a whole lot to show here because once we used the foreskin, it was absolutely a joke. So enjoy the dopamine, my dudes. <laughs> This is number one champion sound. Well, I'd like to say that we got the platinum, right? We finished all the challenges, but we didn't. We actually ended up needing a second controller, and you couldn't use a PS5 controller a PS4 controller. Extraction only allows you to use a Move controller and a PS3 controller. It can use a third-party controller, however, it has to have the functionality of a PS3 controller. Now, I did have a Move controller, but I didn't have a PS2i, and that's actually what you have to use. You can't use a different camera. But you bet your ass we didn't let that stop us. We went online, we looked for a PS3 con- Dude, what the f are some of these? <laughs> well, we ordered one, and then we played the waiting game. One week later. With our new controller, we could get the co-op trophy and then finish our last challenge for the Platinum. So, I, I saw like a forum post and people were like, dude, how do you co-op in this? There we go. Second player activated. I don't know if you have to do anything. This might just be the trophy. This feels weird. That's the trophy right there. We then disconnected player two and then we completed our final challenge, which meant our final trophy. That should be the high score and that should be our Platinum, guys. Ready? You ready to hear that sweet ding? Get a medic. Man up, sweetheart. And we did. We got it, boys. We got the platinum, boys. Ooh, feels good to be done with that game. I'm telling you. And you want to know what? They were right. It was 30 hours. Because of all the fucking bugs I ran into, the glitches, the bullshit. I wanted to get the Platinum Trophy in Dead Space before the Dead Space remake comes out. Now the guide has this game at a 5 out of 10 difficulty requiring 2 playthroughs and roughly 25 hours, but I mean Jesus tap dancing Christ, it's not even about that. Look down below at those. I mean it is Missable City, Population Me. But as scary as all those Missables are, it does not compare to the Necromorphs. So we're not going to let that hold us back. We're going to jump in as Isaac Clark and we're going to get to work. I was smart enough to make a list of things we need to get after. And without further ado, let's do it, boys. Now, right at the start, we're actually earning progress towards the trophy and didn't even realize it. And I won't really explain this yet, but later on down the line, I'm going to explain it. You know, we're going to avoid uh, demonetization somehow. We get our first trophy. We're feeling really good, really confident. I think we forgot how great the atmosphere really is in this game, and it might have put us on edge just a little bit. Force gun was putting in work, bro. The force gun in the- Oh god, yo, what the f was that? Yo, that dead body scared the sh out of me. You saw that? After we soil ourselves basically over nothing, we make it to the end of the chapter where we get another trophy. Now, while we're playing, we're going to come across these enemies here, and there's a missable trophy for getting grabbed by seven of them. So we need to keep, you know, kind of an eye out for them, let them grab us intentionally. And then also, while we're going through the game, we want to focus on getting some melee kills. And we actually end up getting the plasma cutter trophy here. Shortly after, we end up finishing the chapter, which is another story-related trophy for us. And then I lied, and it wasn't seven of these, it's actually ten, so there you go. Now that we have 10 of those, we can continue focusing on the melee kills. I died a few times here because I wasn't paying attention, 
but we ended up getting the melee kill here as well and finishing the chapter. We then make our way through the atrium, grabbing another blueprint which popped another trophy. And then shortly after, we got greeted by someone that you might know. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah! Alright, it wasn't quite that guy, but we got a brute and we actually have to kill the brute without getting hit. Yeah, well I got hit, so I reloaded my save and we tried again. We ended up taking down the brute, and then after that we make it to a room with these gravity panels. There was a trophy to push the enemies into the gravity panel, so you just freeze them and slowly push them in without going in yourself. <laughs> Next we were told we had to clear some asteroids on the side of the ship, and this trophy can be a bit challenging and most people tend to struggle with it. However, your boy was confident. I mean, look at that face. No, seriously, what's wrong with that face? It's permanently like that. Oh god, no. Yo, did I just start choking right at the end? Hell yeah, I did. Oh sh**, we got it though. Hey, let's go boys, first try, let's go. Don't get cocky, kid. Sh**, you had me at cock. Don't do that. After finishing the chapter, we reload a save and see a familiar fit. Stop doing that. Now we reloaded the save because there's actually a trophy for catching his little bomb that he throws. After we played catch with him for a little bit, we ended up making our way to a medical bay. And in this bay, we found our 75th log, which is the collectibles throughout the game. And that's going to give us another trophy. If this dude would just leave us alone. After that, we can finish off the chapter. We then make our way to this poison type area where these guys kind of look like a ball sack and I was just kind of messing around and picked up some boxes and it turns out there's a trophy for shooting 50 objects using kinesis. We then make our way to our next boss encounter which could only be described as what it would possibly look like inside of me after a long night of Taco Bell. All we're going to do is shoot down the hole until he's dead and then it's GG boys and we get another trophy and finish the chapter. At this point in the game, we've earned so much money that we can go ahead and spend 200,000 of it at the store for another trophy. We eventually run into our ex, and even though she's a little psychotic, you know what? We still love her, and maybe that's our toxic trait, but we have to defend her from the necromorphs. We're then getting debriefed by one of our crewmates, but uh, I, I just can't really seem to focus. <laughs> Oh, that's hot. That's hot. What? The comms array receiver isn't responding. After a quick break, we finish chapter seven. After finishing that chapter, we then ended up on a, I don't know what the hell you would call this thing, but it doesn't matter because for some reason I fell off, even though there's a guard rail. After riding that stupid tram thing we eventually made it to the slug boss now we had to basically kill the boss with over 50 percent shield and uh again if you're using this like crazy your thing can overheat so there's a little bit of strategy to it but you know what i was feeling confident we got the other trophy with the cannon our first try so maybe we can do this all right so we're just focusing on the items on screen okay and we are taking a ton of damage and uh we only just barely made it so even though we had to clench our butthole a few times, we ended up making it. We got two trophies for this area here and the chapter trophy. Once we defeated the boss and then ended the chapter, we ended up in a shooting range and we had to shoot all of the red targets and try to get the high score on each level. Now, the red targets are supposed to be the targets we need to aim for and the blue are the ones you want to avoid. We were streaming and chat was giving me shit for this part because, you know, they said I was killing an innocent, but look, I had good reasoning. Hesitated. Well, first I was going to pop this guy hanging from the street light, and then I realized, you know, he's just working out. And how would I feel somebody come running in a gym, bust me in my ass while I'm on a treadmill? Then I saw a little Tiffany. I'm thinking, you know, eight-year-old white girl, middle of the ghetto, bunch of monsters, this time of night with quantum physics books. She about to start some shit, Zed. She's about eight years old. Those books are way too advanced for her. If you ask me, I say she's up to something. And to be honest, I'd appreciate it if you eased up off my back about it. 
So even though I had a good reason, it wasn't going to get us the trophy. We had to get that high score, so we went and did that. After that intense training session, we end up playing a bit of basketball, in space of course. And in this room here, there are six levels and you don't really have to get a score or anything, you just keep playing basketball. It was perfect for me. Because I'm trash at basketball. And since we were here, we may as well feed two birds with one scone and there's another trophy we can get. We have to do over 100 jumps in zero gravity, so let's get to it. We find ourselves fighting against a bunch of necromorphs in a very tight spot so I end up using my stasis to try and get out of it and we end up getting a trophy for that for freezing over 50 of them. As we near the end of the game I'm getting really excited but then I find out there's a tweaker right behind me and I nearly sh** myself. Oh god open up! Oh god! What? What? He's twitching bro stop! What are you doing? Chill, bro. After that, we end up roasting the one that can regenerate, and then we finish off chapter 10, getting really close to the ending. Now, coming up next was a trophy we would grab by getting this statue. However, we didn't actually want to pick it up just yet. So you have to press X to actually pick up the statue. However, we're not going to do that yet. We're going to duplicate it, and the reason being is we need a lot of money to max out our weapons for another trophy. So what we do is we take the Peng trophy all the way to the very back room here, we throw it against the wall, we run forward, and then open the door, and then it just respawns. And we're going to keep doing that and become rich. Isaac, what are you doing, bro? Lie, lie, lie. My brothers don't die, we just receive up. Uh, I'll tell you I got to link me at the coffee shop. Uh, getting freaky in the sheets, we're taking money shot. Okay, so with that out of his system, we were able to come over here, pick it up for our trophy, and also sell these for 10,000 doll hairs each. Oh sh**, boys, never mind. It's for 30,000 doll hairs each, so we can easily max out our weapons and get another trophy for that. Flamethrower and Force Gun, that should be it. The Force Skin and the other thing. Yeah, we've been smashing it. We've been streaming for five and a half hours nearly. Your videos definitely deserve blow up. You made all those trophies look easy though. Nah, man. F man, we still might be low, bro. These motherfuckers are expensive, bro. 2008 gaming be expensive. Oh, actually, we might get it. It's because we sold that gun that first time. Perfect, bro. I calculated it down to the last dollar sign. Give me my gold trophy. Maxed out, baby. First try. It is what it is. This is just how it goes. As we moved on further into the chapter, we ended up getting our 150th log, which were the collectibles throughout the game. We make it to our space shuttle here to end the chapter, but this wouldn't be the end of our journey. Isaac wasn't quite done yet, and we had one more chapter to go through. Now, Dead Space has a very big variety of weapons. However, we were going for a gold trophy our first playthrough, which is just using the plasma cutter only and beating the game like that. That's gonna be it right there. It's gotta be done deal banana peel, right? Or is there one more phase? Mindless prey, baby. So one gun is a gold trophy. There's Exodus. And then maybe once the credits roll, you'll get the other one. After defeating the final boss, Isaac is tired. We watch his girlfriend's OnlyFans video one more time and then we get to end it on two more trophies. Having shut off her video prematurely, she's not quite too happy about that. So while we think we're about to escape in our shuttle after defeating the final boss, she's got other plans for us. And then the game's over. But we're rewarded two trophies for this and one being that gold trophy for doing it with one gun. With the game finally beaten, we realized there's a few miscellaneous trophies we couldn't get because we were using one gun. There's one for just 1,000 limbs, and then there's one for killing 30 enemies with every weapon. So we just reload an older save and just purposely grind out for that.
With those miscellaneous trophies out of the way, we only had one trophy left. It's for beating impossible difficulty. And honestly, it was pretty smooth. We just used the plasma cutter and the pulse rifle the whole game. And GG easy clap. I think we'll just go in straight away with the pulse. Just get rid of all that ammo and then we'll go unload with the, the plasma afterwards. We're doing okay. We might use a heal just to be safe. Oh god, run. No, fucking run. Oh my god, I'm hitting everything but him, bro. I'm praying and spraying and not hitting anything. My god. We're okay, I think. Oh god, please. Oh, fucking hell. Alright, come on. Open up, baby. You guys smell that? I smell platinum, baby. Give me my motherfucking platinum. Give me my motherfucking Watch their like. Alright, is there another phase in Impossible? I'd be kind of mad. I think that's going to be done deal banana peel, guys. There it is. Done. I think it pops here, right? Like that's where the other one popped. Epic Tier 3 Engineer, guys. And Concor Concordance. Why the f did they name it that, bro? <laughs> awesome, man. There it is. We got extraction and that done. Let's get it. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder what you are. I wanted to get the platinum trophy. No, I needed to get the platinum trophy in Dead Space 2. But since I'm playing the games chronologically, we actually have to play Ignition, which you're probably like, dude, what the hell is Ignition? Well, let's find out, shall we? And then maybe we can finally get to Dead Space 2. Okay. Um, yeah, maybe it's, maybe it's just like a hacking mini game, and then it gets a bit better. Okay. It's just yeah, it's just another hacking mini game. Oh, it's it's just all hacking mini games. Oh well, maybe maybe the cutscenes are good at least, right? All right. You know, whatever, whatever. I'm a man of optimism. At least I'm going to get a platinum out of this, right? <laughs> I was going to make an edit of everything together, but it's just not a fun watch. It wasn't even a fun play. And the only thing that got me through it was the stream. We ended up streaming for hours until about like four in the morning. And I had work in like three and a half hours. And I was just ready to be done with it. So... We can enjoy the final clips, and then we can finally move on to Dead Space 2. Initiating system defenses. System D's nuts, bruh. The guide says this game can take three to five hours. We did it in three and a half because we had to do an extra playthrough because we missed the speedrun trophy by a minute, and then we got it. And we're pretty close. We're probably like five minutes off, maybe. Maybe, maybe eight minutes at most. Probably not even that, yeah. We should be pretty much done, Ski. We'll have another one of those stupid hack races i'm sure and then hopefully that's it and it'll pop both trophies actually won't it pop right here please we're done holy shit, bro never mind we're done i said five minutes dude we're done 12 out of we're done i don't have to play shit anymore oh my god that's so good and and oh you don't even have to do the last one thank god nope you i'm not doing it i'm not doing it and spoiler alert we ended up doing it because the final cutscene of this game is actually the starting cutscene in dead space 2. isaac isaac can you hear me <sighs> now thankfully he frees us but he gets turned into a necromorph but we just give him that good old tanjiro treatment with a nice little headbutt and we make our escape now, the good thing about Ignition is since we have a save file and we beat the game, we're going to have access to these rooms throughout the game that have a bunch of supplies, which will make the game a bit easier. And also, we get a free suit out of it. Shortly after we start, though, we get a trophy for shooting the limbs. After unlocking our plasma cutter and learning a bit on how to use kinesis, we impale one of them on the wall for another trophy. And we do it again for fun. God, we're sick. Ignition prepared me for this, or so I thought. 
Oh, they have hacking in this, just like in uh, Ignition. <laughs> oh, what the f What do I do? Yo, my booty crumbs? My booty crumbs? Yo, I'm a beast of hacking. Aha, boy. Oh, sh bro. He just pimp smacked me, bro. That was on casual difficulty. What the f you have to melee them like 25 times with the dude. What the fuck, man? That's so goofy. We got pwned. We finally make it to a store where we can change into our drip. And we also get a trophy for doing that and getting out of the straitjacket. After that as well, we do get another trophy for healing 20 times. Which I don't know if that's good. It means we took a lot of damage. After the train crashes, we're hanging upside down and we're taking on waves and waves of necromorphs. The aiming is pretty bad here. Maybe it's just me actually. Yeah, you know what? It's me. I'm trash because whew, we were missing. That gives us a story related trophy. And then shortly after we make our way to this mall type area and we see a statue holding a shit. Not sure why he's holding a shit. But if we behead him, we're going to get a trophy. And you're damn right we do. We then head to a new area and there's a decompression window here. Now there's a trophy to suck 20 of them out of the window, but there's also a trophy to impale one of them through the window to cause it to activate. That's the one we're going to want to go for here. So as you can see, I'm trying to get something to impale them with. It's not really working. And then we finally get it. Nice, easy trophy. And then we have to shut it before it kills us. I then restarted the checkpoint to try and get more sucked out. We then make our way through this garbage tunnel, and at the very end, we get a trophy for making our way through the garbage tunnel. We just have to dodge the debris on the way up. We end up in an area where I see a lot of necromorphs, so I let them make more necromorphs, so that way I can try and get a miscellaneous trophy here for shocking so many of them at once with that weapon. Bro, sometimes when I look at these clips, I wonder, how do I also make guides? And how do you guys also trust me with my guides? That opens that room, but then there must be one to open the other. I don't know. Let's see. Why is it locked? Oh, it's this room. I'm trash. Ah. You thought you could outsmart me, my boy. Bro, I'm literally not even like. Or are you not supposed to take it out? I don't understand. Maybe you're not supposed to take it out. Yeah, you're not. There's a force field. Okay, that makes sense. I thought you had to. Maybe. Oh, I'm trash. Okay, I got you now. I'm so f***ing stupid, dude. Oh, my God. That's that room temperature IQ hard at play. We end up in this very creepy area with stalkers. And we get a trophy for surviving our first encounter with them. And yes, I may have shit pants, but we survived either way. We then make our way to this giant freezer area where there's a lot of necromorphs, and we get a trophy for using the kinesis item. Jesus, dude, that guy went f***ing flying. God damn. Give me my trophy. After that, we're in another creepy ass area. We've got these kids attacking us. And there was a trophy I saw to make one of them go like 30 yards distance. So we just backed up and just wrecked them. They're pretty weak overall and yeah, we just wrecked on them. Somebody put me on the registry cause I'm f***ing these kids! We then progressed through the chapter and we end up getting attacked by these dudes in a ship. Trying to escape, we end up just making things worse for us and we have to fight this big dude. So. We make our way out of the tunnel, shoot a hole through the window, try and suck him out into space, then finally blow him to bits. And then that's going to give us a story related trophy. Okay. After we basically just miss every damn shot, we finally get him and we get our trophy. After we smash out that trophy, we make our way to this kind of kindergarten. And isn't that sweet that they're just hugging? Yeah, look, I already censored it for YouTube, okay? It's just ketchup, man. YouTube be tripping sometimes, swear to God. 
Maybe if we made YouTube kids instead. Speaking of kids, we make our way to the gymnasium where we get attacked by a bunch of kids. Somebody put me on the registry because I'm... No, I'm not going to do that again. But yeah, we just start torching them and we end up getting the necro flambe. As well as a trophy for getting through the school. We graduated, boys. The brutes end up making a return from Dead Space 1. And so does the trophy for juking them around and not getting hit. Well, my ass got hit. So I had to restart the checkpoint, give that another try, and Bob's your uncle. I don't really know what that means, but I've heard people say it before. This also rewards us with another trophy for getting another schematic. This next trophy has us riding an elevator. Not with the nice relaxing elevator music, of course, but with these assholes trying to kill me. Now the trophy requires us to shove all of them off and make sure none of them make it inside. This is made easy with the force gun. Now you may remember Peng from Dead Space 1. It was that treasure that we found and we duplicated. Well, it's actually back in this game and it has a trophy related to it as well. You have to move the puzzle pieces around to find this secret room and then you just find it on the ground here and you pick it up for a trophy. After grabbing Peng, we have to destroy the AI that's in this area. And we do that by exposing these parts of the computer. Boom. Bam. Bop. Bada bop. Boom. Pow. And after that, we get our trophy. Now with the AI shut down, a bunch of lurkers come out of hiding. This is actually a good chance for us to get a trophy, miscellaneous trophy, for cutting all of the tentacles at once. So we give them a little haircut. Even though we like the cut, G. We find ourselves outside of the shuttle and we see this ball sack out in the distance so we just start shooting it until it stops attacking us. After that we can then move the satellite things that reflect refraction the light. Look man I ain't a botanist but I got a trophy. We go in on a trip in our favorite rocket ship we zoom in through the sky. Don't do that. But yeah we just fly in and then. We end up in this area with kids again. Yo, we around kids a lot, bro. What is this game? Whatever, we get a trophy for sawing them. After the onslaught of kids there, we end up in this sort of... I'm gonna be honest, bro. This just looks like my booty hole after I eat a bunch of jalapenos and shit, man. I got the ring of fire happening all the time when I eat spicy shit. That don't stop me, though. Now, throughout the game, we needed to get some melee kills. So occasionally, I've been freezing them to just try to get some melee kills. And eventually, we got the trophy for that. We end up meeting up with Ellie, and she's talking about how on the Ishimura there's like a terrorist attack. She has no f***ing clue what happened there, bro. We went through hell on that mother shit, bro. That's alright, we take out our anger on this box and we get a trophy. Nah, I'm just kidding, I knew it was there. You know, totally. We find a room full of stalkers and these cysts, and it's a good time for a trophy here. We can use the seeker rifle on a stalker. Hello, mother That's gonna be for a trophy. And then immediately after, we can go to one of the cysts, and we have to catch it, and then throw it back at it for a trophy, called Bouncing Betty. We then decide we're going to blow up this area. We do get jumped, unfortunately, but we go ahead and take them out really quick. They're actually really f***ing annoying, but we take them out, and then we make a quick getaway. After leaving, we then end up in this hallway here. We make our way through the Ishimura, getting grabbed by a hentai tentacle, but it's okay. It wasn't a real one, unfortunately. Bro, what do you mean unfort? Okay. That pops us a collectible trophy, and then we ended up in this room quarantine. So we set up some traps, and I just remember thinking, Macaulay Culkin ain't got shit on me, you know what I'm saying? We got this shit a lot. This is my house. I have to defend it. I noticed we have another miscellaneous trophy we can earn, which is a pretty easy one. We just have to get a kill with every weapon, and I don't know which weapons I used. Anyway, I started blasting. Bah, bah. Well, I don't see so good, so I missed. Then they ran away. We continue exploring the Ishimura and scavenge for some supply. Bruh. This is cum. Well, I suppose after that, it only seems fitting to go for the C-section trophy. So we have to use the contact beam to destroy a necromorph as he's on the ground. And before he gets back up, we have to finish him off. Not in that way. Now, as the semen demon approaches me, I start to charge the alternate fire. I knock him down and I quickly try and take him out with a contact beam. And we get our trophy. Uh, I just realized it could have been ectoplasm, actually. There was a ghost. 
this ectoplasm. And while we did get a trophy right here, it sort of just felt like when someone's like, yo, how's your Monday going so far? And yeah. Boo! Boo! That's okay though, we upgrade a weapon for a trophy. And then immediately after, a story related trophy. Shortly after that, we run into the Neversoft logo, hanging out with this crazy dude, and then we have enough money to buy the advanced suit, you know, and kind of get our drip going for Isaac. After powering up a drill, we then have to go through a giant tunnel, excavating our way through, while also fending off waves of infected. That's okay though, we're rewarded with a trophy, which I always enjoy. Ellie thinks we're still working together, however, we caught the feels for her, so we're gonna try and send her away, make sure she gets out of here safe. And then we're visited by our crazy ex again. Isaac. Touch me. What did she say? We then get attacked by some dudes, so we turn off the power and we basically let them, you know, fight for themselves. That's what they get. Heads. After that, we find ourselves in this machine here, and, uh, yeah. We finally get to penetrate Isaac Clark. It's literally everything I could ever want in a game. And it gives a trophy. We then eventually come across our first regenerator. Now, there's a trophy to dismember 2,500 limbs, and someone in chat had a 5,000 IQ play. We could actually use him to farm the rest later on. So for now, we just continue and upgrade a weapon to max for another trophy. And then after that, we're hugging our ex, like, you know, we're kind of getting back into it. And then she says, time to die. And it's like, don't threaten me with a good time. What's going on? This is actually the final boss. And apparently Isaac's just a goofy goober or something. Cause it takes place inside of our head. And uh, yeah, I don't know. That was a bit underwhelming, but you know what? We got a trophy at the end of it and it kind of made up for that. After that, we then have a flying sequence. Ellie came back for us because she's a real one. I didn't realize that we were controlling this right here and then I died. So yeah, I'm basically just cosplaying as a trash can. If you go inside your kitchen, you'll see me. I'm the trash can. After we're in here with Ellie, it kind of takes a jab at the first game, how it ended and Nicole jumped at him. But Ellie's just like, bruh, what? And then we get two trophies. Well, there it is, our first playthrough ever of Dead Space 2, and we finished the game, and we unlocked Hardcore Mode. Now, before we jumped into that, we were going to reload a save and farm some miscellaneous trophies. The first one was that Dismember one I was talking about for 2,500 Dismembers. And we just farmed that guy with that 5,000 IQ play. Nice, easy trophy out of the way. Then we upgraded our rig to max for another trophy. Then we reloaded an older save to the school. And we had to just use the alt fire on the gun to get the trophy. And then after we got that, we could start hardcore. Now I pretty much spoke to chat for a while and all the guides say to do zealot next so you can learn the game a bit more before hardcore. But we jumped straight into it on our second playthrough. Oh, wow, dude. I'm actually panicking, bro. I don't know what to do. Bro, how's he jump so far? My man is an athlete, bro. Oh, we need items. Oh, pillar strat. Oh, bro, please. I'm getting greedy. Oh, make it, baby. Make it. Yo, he's on my asshole. You ain't dead, bro. You ain't dead. Because when we first played this on casual, we just like pooped on him, bro. And I was not expecting him to put in the work like that. Quick, barricade the door. Barricade the door. Can't get out, bro. Can't get in the club. Can't get in the club, son. You guys got in immediately. Like literally immediately. Holy shit. Now, needless to say, Hardcore was anxiety inducing most of the time. I mean, it was even bringing me back to my childhood. I haven't had to beg like this since I live with my stepdad. Bro, please don't do this to me, bro. Don't do this. Turn the light back on, bro. Bro, please. What? 
Bro, what are you talking about, man? Not up in here. God, man. I just want to get to the first save, and I, I think my edge will, like... I won't be edging anymore. Like, all of you guys in chat are making me edge. And I'll, like, finally be relieved once I... Like, bro, you're making this sound so f***ing sus. And I was on edge this whole time. Now, we finally decided to make our first save. You only get three saves on Hardcore, but I was on edge the whole time. All the guides recommend going to Chapter 7, but I just didn't feel too confident. This is my second ever playthrough of Dead Space 2. Uh, my first one being on Casual, and other than that, I've never played the game. I, I didn't remember half the things, and... Yeah, I didn't feel confident, so we made our first save. All right, boys, our first save. Our very first save. One out of three used. We can we can be a little less on edge. Chapter five, you know what? I'm happy with it. Need that precious little head of yours just I don't know where I'm gonna save next though. I have no idea. That guy looked mad creepy, bro. He was in camera for like split second, but his eyes were like, I'm going to put it in you, Isaac. And I was like, damn, sign me up to be Isaac. Now we come up to a part where we're going up an elevator really fast. And I thought it was going to be a bit tricky. And while we did get hit a lot, we actually lost a lot of our health right outside of the elevator to something really stupid. One health pack? No shot. They drained all of our f***ing health, bro. God damn. God, fuck. Oh, shit. Wow. We almost just died. I'm probably gonna die. And again, hardcore just keeps you on edge. I mean, there's so many insta-kill things throughout the game. And then on top of that, the enemies just do the big damage. It constantly leaves you wondering if you're gonna die and be sent back so many chapters. Oh, f I'm panicking. Oh, sh Oh, f Oh, God. Oh, sh Oh, God. That was tight. Tight! Yeah. All right, guys, go easy on me because it was about three or four in the morning and you can tell my brain kind of had enough. I play smart. We're going to save now. And then we'll push harder for the next save. This will be like our, our, um, our, what's it called? You know, like our, our safe save. So with the fact that it was so late and we've probably been streaming for about six and a half hours now, my mind was a bit f***ed. I wasn't feeling very confident with this. And uh, yeah, I'm glad I made a save here because I really didn't trust myself. And sure enough, I died. Boom! Oh, that was my first death. Awesome. Chapter nine, thank f we saved it. I would have been so pissed. With our first death under our belt, we reloaded the save and we kept at it. Now there are these decompression windows that are throughout the game and you just have to shoot the red marker to close the window so you don't get sucked out. It's pretty hard to die to this unless you're trash. But... A few moments later... We just made it to chapter 11 and after deciding with my chat if we should make my final save here we ended up doing so because i only had 12 bullets left and honestly there's a couple insta kill places coming up and just things like that i didn't feel too confident with it so we went ahead and used our last save on chapter 11. yeah for almost six hours i'm in well, all right guys we're gonna make it we're gonna make it right here our final save this is either going to bite me so hard in the dick, or it's going to be something good. We're taking on waves of enemies on a drill, trying to avoid getting insta-killed or a lot of damage. And we actually ended up getting a miscellaneous trophy I didn't think we'd get on this playthrough. I kind of kept an eye out for it, however, I wasn't really, really focusing on it just because hardcore, you kind of already focused enough. But we ended up getting it. We just had to destroy these enemies without actually making them explode. Now, as we approach the end of the game, we get to the infamous eye part. Now, if you mess up this eye part, which it's very easy to do, especially under extreme pressure like hardcore mode, if we die, we get sent back from the final chapter, which is chapter 14, all the way back to chapter 11. And every time we fail that, we'd have to redo everything that comes before it. I couldn't afford to fail this. It was nearly 530 in the morning. I had work in three hours. 
I was not ready to lose. I made sure to channel all my energy into my eyes and not blink. That's why I look like a fucking idiot. Please. Give me that shit, boy. Boy. We did it, guys. We finished the eye part. I was feeling really confident. We were on the final chapter. Since we did that, all I had to do was beat the final boss, and we would get our trophy. But that wouldn't be that easy, would it? These little assholes hit so hard, my health bar took the day off. Oh, dude. Wow. Bro, look at this. The health is on my back. Look how much these little bastards do. They were just eating me alive, bro. I was panicking. I was spamming the heal button, hoping I brought enough med kits. And your boy came prepared. We had enough ammo and med kits to take this crazy bitch down. Dude, we did hardcore in one sitting, bro. That's so dumb. It is It's 6.30 in the morning, bro. With the excitement of our victory, we got carried away, and there's actually a flying sequence at the end that you can die on. Thankfully, there was a Giga Chad in the chat as well, and he tried to warn me, so... Whew. That would have been a really shitty way to lose all that progress and not get the trophy. Imagine dying right here, bro. That would be so dumb. That would be so fucking dumb, bro. Ooh, I can't see. What's over this can be, bro? Oh shit, bro. Oh, we got it. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah, yeah, grab my hand. Grab my hand, grab my hand, grab my hand. Don't you fing got me, bitch. If I lose this trophy because of you, I swear to God, I'm gonna take the other eye. Hey, Jesus, bro, chill out. Let's go, boys. Hard to the core. Our first session. It was six and a half hours. Like 6 40, and it's 6 30 a.m. Let's fucking go, boys. We just finished, bro. With the hardcore playthrough out of the way, there's only one playthrough left for the Platinum, which is playing it on Zealot difficulty, which would be easy now because we unlocked the Foam Finger, which is an insta-kill weapon that you can only get from beating hardcore. We weren't going to do hardcore on our second playthrough, but the chat convinced me, and honestly, I'm glad I did. It was such a fun like experience with everyone in the chat, and the Foam Finger just makes it worth it. I miss unlocks in games where you kind of just got rewarded and then you can just kind of goof around on your last playthrough. So that means the Platinum's within reach. We have one random miscellaneous trophy that's really easy and then we have the Zealot difficulty. Now, most people would just go and get the Plat, but your boy's built a little different. I can't pop the Plat unless I get that 100%. It just, I don't know if it's the OCD in me. Maybe I just like that extra hit of dopamine. So with that in mind, we hop straight into the DLC. We are playing on the hardest difficulty because there's a trophy for it. That way we can do all the trophies just in one playthrough. And the best part is we get to use the Foam Finger since we beat the game on Hardcore. Now the DLC takes place with Weller, which is one of the characters from Dead Space Extraction, that on-rail shooter that we played. And it's a great story. So let's get these trophies done and get this Platinum. First things first, we make it to the first store and we equip some new drip, you know? We gotta look fly while we're killing Necromorphs. And then we equip the new weapon that we unlocked from Hardcore, just to see what all the fuss was about. <laughs> what? <laughs> Dude, I can't with this. Now, most of the DLC trophies are just miscellaneous trophies. And the first one, we come to this grinder, and we just have to freeze a Necromorph and try and push him into it. No, I'm not sure why the hell you started floating in the air. Shortly after that, we're going to activate a computer, which is going to start spawning waves of enemies at us. Now, we have to fight them all without leaving this platform, and if we do, we get the trophy. It was really easy. I mean, we have the foam finger. 
Now our next miscellaneous trophy required us to take out this gunship within 30 seconds. There was a fire canister right here at the start, then one in front, and then... Yeah, I couldn't find the other one, so he absolutely just shred me a new asshole. So, we retry, we go in here, we throw it at him, he starts shooting us, I start panicking, I turn around and I end up seeing it. It was like divine intervention, ready to save me. Oh, and I didn't need it, sick. Well, we got the trophy, that's all that matters, right guys? We then got a trophy for finishing the chapter as well. Honestly, things were looking good. However, I think we got a bit cocky using the foam finger and we had a lot of stupid deaths. Oh! <laughs> Maybe we need more than the fucking foam gun, bro. It's a little weird though now, there's like no- Oh, there we go. Let me say. Oh shit, hey yo! I'm dead, I'm still dead. Fucking idiot, dude. I'm literally an idiot. What are you? An idiot sandwich. Now the DLC is different because we have to actually find the Peng statue or treasure again. And it's called Peng Me Again. I thought it said something else, but I digress. Either way, we just went the secret route and we found the treasure and we got our trophy. We finally find our wife and we go down there to rescue her. Honestly, I wish I could just trade places with her the way he's choking her out like that. So, uh, that last clip kind of cut off, but I meant like, so, so she wouldn't have to suffer and, and I could instead for her cause she's my wife. We're coming up on our final trophies for beating the game and being on Zealot, but there's also one more miscellaneous. Now this asshole blows our leg off, but we want to save our wife. So we have to try and blast open this door so she can escape in the shuttle. But before we do that, we have to kill 16 enemies in that final sequence. So while our goal is to actually save our wife, we just need this pixelated metal first. So the wave of enemies spawn, and we have to try and kill 16 of them before we shoot off all the panels. If we accidentally shoot all the panels off, then it's gonna trigger the last cutscene and we're gonna miss the trophy. With two panels left, we kill our last infected and break both panels in one shot. What a absolute giga chad. With the DLC done, we have two trophies left to get, and we need to do a miscellaneous trophy and finish Zealot. Now, Zealot's gonna be really easy because we have the foam finger, so we're gonna start a new game on Zealot, make our way to the store, and get our foam finger, so that way we have a fighting chance. We get our drip, as always, out here looking like a fucking transformer, and then we grab our foam finger, and we start slaying. Nothing too crazy here, boys. We did have a miscellaneous trophy left, we had to have 20 necromorphs sucked off by a window, those decompression windows that suck them out into space. God, I would love to get my hands on one of those. Like, just give me one of those things. Like, the suction has got to be... Oh, sweet, we got the trophy. After that, guys, we just powered our way through the game with the insta-kill foam finger, chilling on stream with a lot of really f***ing badass people. If you want to see them, join the Discord. I do encourage it. Other than that, guys... We did it. We finger f***ed our way to the Platinum. And what a ride it was. What? Let's go, boys. Oh. Mission Impossible, baby. The Final Frontier. Platinum and Dead Space 2. All 59 trophies. And we're done. We only have Dead Space 3 now. So good. We did hardcore in one session, bro. <sighs> that was so good, man. Thank you guys for being on the journey. Honestly, we've been grinding. We've been grinding and you guys have all been here. Thank you guys. I wanted to get the Platinum Trophy for Dead Space 3. Now the game itself isn't overly difficult. It is going to be 5 playthroughs though and it's going to take me over 40 hours. Maybe even a little bit longer but we'll talk about that a bit later. Now you know how Dead Space has always been known for its very immersive atmosphere of just pure horror. Well this game is completely different. Let me try to give you a bit of an understanding. It's as if Mass Effect Dead Space and had a baby. And then, let's say, maybe Call of Duty and the Resident Evil series then had a baby. 
And then by some miracle, these two babies met and then fucked. Then this would be the shit that they birthed. We actually don't play as Isaac right at the start. We just kind of have this little tutorial intro sort of thing. And we get our first trophy to lock us in for this platinum. Having unlocked our first trophy, we are now officially locked into Dead Space 3. We've got to get all the trophies in this game and we won't stop until we do. Now we're finally as Isaac and we can see that Ellie's no longer with us. And that's because we meet Mr. Steal Your Girl. And yeah, what an asshole. He took her from us. My pressure not do that. Okay, thankfully for my first playthrough, we got our boy John from the Discord to run through co-op with me to get all the trophies that are co-op related, including the collectibles on our first run. Now, right off the bat, we ended up trying to go for the revive each other 10 times trophy just to get it out of the way. We were playing on easy, so we just kind of wanted a free trophy. What, what's the revive button? Is it just X? Um, You have to do it 10 times, was it? Oh, get fucked. <laughs> After realizing it was going to take too long, I try and find another enemy just to make things a little bit quicker. Spawns another enemy. Just so we can, like, kind of get the show on the road. Here we go. Never mind, he just went into ongoing traffic. You fucking donut. What did he do? Oh my god. It was taking way too long, so John and I decided we'll just go for that a bit later when we have more enemies. But there was a trophy to trade an item with your teammate, so we quickly did that after taking out this guy. We ended up finding stronger enemies for the 10 revives, but it seems I left friendly fire on. At least that's how it felt. There we go. Yeah, there we oh, go. Good hand time on too. Yo, Meridius, what's up, my boy? Good to see you, brother. Oh. Yo, the stasis does not even work in this game, bro. It's like 0.8 seconds. If that. So it lasts just as long as you do. Emotional damage. I know how to count or something <laughs> like. I got it. Okay, I got it. Finally, dude. John and I see light speed from the second game, and yeah, even in the third game, he's still holding a giant massive. Shit. Our next co-op trophy is to protect each other. So whenever a monster grabs onto John, I have to tell them to stop, and that only I can grab. On. Wait, what's going on? Yeah, I'm a bad. You can't kill me. John and I have to work together to get through all of this debris so we can survive the space odyssey to get another trophy. However, we we're both messing up. John got hit by the debris back there, and then I decided it was my turn to get hit by the debris. It then took us a few more runs for me to stop getting hit by it, and then once I finally had a good grasp, then John started dying. So we were in this never-ending loop until we eventually survived the space odyssey which allowed us to then put a circuit into a weapon and craft and share a blueprint. Finally, after everything we've been through, we make it back to our girlfriend and we get to see her finally. Am I getting cucked right now? He's cucking me. Not for much longer, Mr. Steal Your Girl. She will. Look, we may act tough, but we have feelings, and she damn near hurt every single one of them. So we use some med packs to mend our heart, and we get the 20 med pack trophy. We then find out that I'm obviously just so good at trophy hunting that I just get a trophy without knowing it was a trophy. Yeah, I'll just, I'll just do Look. classic and, and long for... So cheer. So for my, oh, I took his head off. Oh, shit. No yeah, way. I'm pretty sure that was a miscellaneous trophy. That's a dismember. Oh, is it really? Yo, I didn't even I realize that. Let's go. Did you get? Do you get it then or no? I didn't get it. No. I'm about to hack the account. Ready? Hacker man, he's the most powerful hacker of all time. After we get the trophy for John, we realize we need to make more torque bars for some collectibles behind hidden doors, and there's also a trophy for a large med pack, so we make that. We then noticed there was a trophy to upgrade a weapon, so I quickly do that as well, just to get another trophy while we're here. We continue on the path and we find a new friend that can help us scavenge for supplies. There's a trophy to pick him up back at the bench, which is where he goes after he finds the supplies that he scavenges. So we look at what time we had left and then we just wait.
We also realized there's a trophy to do this 15 times of them actually searching in the correct spot. So we started focusing on that with this being right at the spot we found him. That's not what we do. Nah, your boy does not understand. Oh, do you go like that? Okay. I just casually attacking in the background while I'm on like porn hub. The fuck, bro? <laughs> what the fuck? Man, we should add that into the video. Yeah, we should, man. I'm just gonna be on like the hub and you're just in the background killing shit. After leaving the hub, we end up getting another trophy for stasis. John and I end up taking out waves and waves of necromorphs until eventually the ship explodes and it sucks us outside. Thankfully, we get a story related trophy for this. We then have to repair a shuttle so we can get it going again. The only problem is it's the same problem I suffer with in real life. I can't get it in the fucking hole. After we get the shuttle up and running, it's a bit ironic how we get a trophy here because it's called Space Ace and um, yeah, I got us killed. Now our next trophy, shout out to Orange Kraken on stream for letting us know there was one here, but we have to sneak through this area from these golem looking motherfuckers and yeah, it didn't go too well. No crouch again? Yep, stay crouched and then I guess we just sneak by. Oh sh bro. Can we stay system? Go around the right side from first from oh shit. That was John. <laughs> like, <laughs> now even though John made some mistakes back there, it's all right. You know, we just retried and we ended up getting our trophy. Since we defeated Gollum, we end up finding our precious, if you know what I mean. And honestly, I didn't think we'd get more rouse than we already have. But I'd like to introduce a new segment here. It's called Super Beach Boy, and I want to give this guy a shout out. He's a beast. But to be honest, again, like it is actually a really good co-op game. Like it plays really well. It may not be a good like. Maybe Dead Space game, but it's a damn good uh, f***ing co-op oh, game. Whoa. What the fuck, Super Beast Boy? Bro. Another one. Dude, Another no f***ing. Another one. Another one. Bro, what? Oh, and uh, Beach, my boy. Why the f*** you lying? Beach. Beach. You can send normal ones. I'm going to read yours first, man. It was weird, though. YouTube must have glitched or something because instead of having his correct name of Giga Chat, it said like Super Beach Boy or something. A few moments later. Me, and as long as you know you're, you're at least enjoying yourself, that's all that matters. <laughs> did he actually change his name? What the fuck? Dude? There's no shot he did that. There's no shot that's him, dude. Wait, did he change his name? <laughs> Giga Chat Boy. <laughs> what is he doing? We upgraded our rig to max, especially for the next boss fight. It gave us a trophy, but then we'd be fighting the boss. Now, this boss was actually pretty cool. Now, he spawns these, like, cysts on the ground, as well as the skeleton dudes, and you just keep shooting them in the mouth, and that's pretty much it. Until he ends up sucking you inside of him. That's right, the, the fight actually takes place inside of him. And I've always wanted to be inside an alien, just not necessarily like this. It's not how I envisioned it. But I'll be honest, fighting inside of him was so badass. We basically give him indigestion and he eventually just throws us up onto the ledge. Shortly after that, we have a lot of rock climbing segments, which are absolute ass cancer in this game. However, it's all good. We kill a mini boss and we get another trophy. So we come across a hallway with some cysts inside that shoot out these explosives. And we want to make sure that we get through here without killing any of them. Because we have to kill them using the gas. So you have to run up to them, catch the cyst, and then dispose of it. You are so dumb. You are really dumb. For real. Sometimes that's easier said than done, but once you get here, you can deploy the gas, and it looks like it wasn't actually powered on. So we go down to power it on, and we end up getting another trophy for dismembers. And then after that, we can go back in, deploy the gas, and then get our trophy for destroying the cyst using the gas. 
Throughout the game, we've been using our radar to put down our Wally, and we've gotten pretty good at finding the correct spot, if you know what I mean, and get our trophy. Hey, that's fine, man. Nah, he, he's cool. Oh, I like shit. I liked seeing his um his runs, man. Like they were actually super hype. Especially the iron bread one. Like he he did that run so clean, bro. I was gonna say if he doesn't have one on on me, I have one on him. I'm pissed. Oh man, loved iron bread too. Iron bread's the goat. You good, brother? You just gotta match the blue with the blue, my boy. Yeah, and I I keep running out of talent. You got it this time, bro. I can feel it. No, I don't. The time is way too <laughs> short. God damn. All right, here, no, look. You, I I watch a lot go. of a lot of the hub, man. Yeah, you 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 got little master fingers. You know what I'm saying? Hacker man. He's the most powerful hacker of all time. There you go, my boy. You're a bitch. <laughs> Throughout the game, there's been these few optional co-op missions and we finally got to our last one and John's kind of losing his mind here so we just got to protect him while he's getting attacked and then we get the trophy for all co-op missions shortly after that we get attacked by a lot of enemies and I end up meleeing this one and getting 30 melee kills we then do a puzzle to resurrect Rosetta and yeah my brain hurt Not only is there co-op missions, but there's also optional missions, and we got a trophy for completing all of them. As we approach the end, we are also getting the end bits of our collectibles for trophies. We then come across these big boy aliens, and we gotta kill 10 of them for the trophy, so I just use the stasis and take them out. There's a lot of soldier enemies as well, so we end up getting the remaining of our headshots here, so we can get that trophy as well. We have a scene with Ellie as John and I approach the final battle. God, she's so fucking lucky. John and I make our way towards the boss, and we get two more collectible trophies. We then are fighting the final boss who spawns these necromorphs on us and then basically just rotates his head around, and as he rotates around, you just want to pop his eyeball with the marker. Pretty savage. And then once you've done that all three times, you complete the fight, we end up sacrificing ourselves to save humanity. No. But Earth gets it tomorrow. With that, boys, we beat our first playthrough of Dead Space 3, all in co-op, so thank you, John, for that. And then, of course, we have to go into classic mode, but I reload a save and I create a weapon from scratch for another trophy. All right, so my biggest challenge was classic mode. Uh, this last part especially was just killing me. We had been streaming for eight and a half hours. It just wasn't giving me health, wasn't giving me med kits. And everyone's always saying Bushido doesn't rage. You know, you never rage, bro. We raged. It almost defeated me. Almost. But we don't give up. We don't get burnout. We're in here to get the trophies and then get the fuck out. And also Matt, who was chilling in the stream, said we wouldn't be able to do it in one session. And uh, that rubbed me the wrong way. So we did it in one <sighs> session. Let's get it, boys. Chapter 19, guys. Bro, how does my stasis last like four seconds, if that? Not even. And they give me nothing, bro. Not even worth killing. What just hit me? There's another one, bro. Wow. 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 Why are you depressed, bro? I should be the depressed one. This one's fucking garbage. Nah, but what's up, bro? Dude, what the fuck, bro? Fuck me, man. Getting fucking shit RNG, dude. That was a med kit. 
No shot, and it went flying away. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. Oh my god, dude. I still didn't get anything from him, dude. It's literally not dropping me anything. That's so fing dick, dude. Such a fing dog shit area. What is killing me, bro? Dude, what the fuck is killing me? Is it the fucking spaceship sucking me off or something? Please, bro, please, 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 please. Just power your way through it. Go, 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 go. F that guy, bro. F him. He can suck my ass. He can suck my mother ass, bro. Suck my ass. Suck my mother ass. Why did I fall? Hello? Bruh. Oh, God. Spitty guys, really? Oh my fucking god, dude. Not in the mood. Get the fuck out of my way. Not fighting you, bro. You can suck my ass. Make it. Make it. No, no way. No way. No fucking way, dude. Oh my god. Wow, dude. What are the fucking odds of getting grabbed? What are the literal fucking odds of getting fucking grabbed from under fucking ground? That was my last med kit. I'm dead. And he's gonna kill me, aren't you? You fucking idiot. And I can't even run, bro. I can't even run because I'm fucking injured. Injured. Bro, I'm straight up not having a good time. Thank you. Thank the fucking gods, dude. God, dude, I don't understand why that was so fucking AIDS, bro. I have a hundred gel to make one heal. Oh my god, bro. Whatever, man. This is gonna be so dick, bro. Do it again, though. Sloppy on this, bro. I'm so tired, man. So it's made me so fucking irritable, bro. Doesn't seem terrible, but like. Bro, I'm just over it. I'm ready to be done. This has been such a fucking mess at the end, dude. They don't give you shit, dude. No ammo, no nothing, bro. They just let you suck your own fucking dick. This fight's actually not bad. Like, even if I die, it's, like, pretty fair. You know what I mean? It's just the other shit was fucking ridiculous, bro. It was so bad. Bye, bitch. Motherfucker. Ugh, fuck this boss bro actually the boss was fine F the trek to the boss gg matt we did it bro we proved you wrong and it made me super shitty <laughs> look i was getting mad to motivate you guys to go for this plat don't actually do it bro it's fucking garbage after a nearly nine hour stream of all the struggling getting impatient at the end you know i, I was ready to just go to bed but we did it boys we made it all the way through. We're going to unlock the best weapon in the game. And it's going to make the rest of the trophies a breeze. Definitely worth it. We're going to get shit done. Oh, we get the best weapon in the game. It actually makes classic that much more worth it. We can then use this on pure survival in our hardcore playthrough, which is going to make them a lot more trivial. Obviously, you can still die in hardcore as a permadeath mode that deletes your save if you die. But that's going to help. Before we do those, though, what we're going to do first is the DLC. I'm a kind of guy that likes to pop the platinum with the 100%. It just really ends off that high dopamine feel that you get. So we're going to jump in the DLC. And you can see we're not dead. And Carver thinks we're in his apartment. And, you know, I would love to have what he's having because he is high as a fucking kite. Now, our first DLC trophy actually requires a, another co-op partner. So, obviously, we get our boy John back up in here, and we pop the trophy with ease. All we have to do is use stasis on our... Bro, that guy seemed mad goofy with the f***ing bone finger gun. What the f***? Anyways, we just stasis and wise down, and then we get our trophy.
overall the dlc trophies are pretty straightforward um the dlc kind of rubbed me the wrong way the story was kind of decent in dead space 3 i think it gets a little bit too much hate for what it is but the dlc whew, what a steaming hot pile of garbage now in the dlc you're constantly going crazy which is absolutely annoying and then random things like this can happen Now we then get a trophy for letting the Unitologist cult leader live. It basically gives us the opportunity to either decide to kill him or let him live and letting him live will get us a trophy. We then end up in a reactor and we have 90 seconds to charge it. Otherwise we don't get a trophy. So this is missable. We have to do it within 90 seconds. And if we do that, we get our trophy. After the reactor is charged, we make it to the end and just in time to see the earth being swarmed by the moons. Everyone is going to get destroyed by the necromorphs. And that is how the DLC ends and we get two trophies for that. It turns out we missed one DLC trophy and it's impossible to get them both in the same playthrough. So the other one is for killing him this time instead of letting him live. So we obviously rolled up in there with the foam finger and finger f the shit out of him. I'm not sure why he died sus like that, bro. He's using his head like a flashlight. But we got our trophy. Now, before I dived into pure survival and hardcore, I wanted to knock out about six or so of the miscellaneous trophies I was missing. So in our regular save, we end up choosing this chapter here because we need to kill 30 enemies with axes. Now, the problem is there's about four or five of them and after you kill them, you have to save and exit every time in order for the progress to save and then just reload your save and redo it basically. So we quickly did that to get a nice miscellaneous out of the way. Now the rest of the miscellaneous are fairly easy. We have three kill related trophies and there's also one for completing the drill room without taking any damage. I figured we may as well go there because the drill room spawns a lot of enemies and we can just farm them for all of these because some are like kill 50, kill 30, kill 30, etc. So it just made it nice and easy. We then reloaded the checkpoint to make sure we cleared the room without taking any damage. Using the finger gun was the easiest way and you can actually skip the third wave as well. Then we just beat pure survival mode using the finger gun. It's the easiest way since we had that unlocked. And then we can move on to hardcore, which is the permadeath mode. So I was loading up my hardcore and then I realized we still, after so many playthroughs, have never grabbed the Peng trophy. And I mean, it's dead space. There's always a Peng trophy. So we loaded the chapter it spawns in. And as you can see, it's on the left side here behind this little crane spike thing. And yeah, it's supposed to be on the right side so you can grab it. I sat here trying to blast it, like do explosives. I tried everything. I ended up having to reload the checkpoint playing all the way through. And then for some reason it was on the right side. I kind of feel like maybe the foam gun shot it that way. I, I don't even know. But what matters most is in the end, we got it. Now starting our hardcore overall, it's been fairly easy. You know, we have an insta kill weapon. We're just sort of coasting or breezing through the game, except for these rock climbing segments. And they were such a pain in my ass. And uh, yeah, I just, I really don't like these segments. They're trash. They shouldn't be in the game. So then I think we'll call it. So we'll do this one and then one more if we fuck up, which we will. Oh, please. Please fuck up. Oh, come on, baby. Come on, baby. It still sucks my fucking dick, though, just so you guys know. Like, look at this, bro. My man's fucking like air walking, dog. What the fuck is this shit, bro? Little did I know, shitty rock climbing was the least of our problems. We had the legendary Platinum Bro in our chat, and if you haven't checked him out, go look at his channel. It's a lot of cool trophy-related videos. But chat was popping off. We were having a great time, and I was just on autopilot, you know? We've been streaming for a while. Again, I'm on lack of sleep, and I back up my save that had the death on it over the save that had me alive. Not a... No shot, dude. I think I just f***ed myself. I was too busy talking and I think I just f***ed myself. I think we just used... I think I f***ed myself. No way, bro. We can't do this tonight. F***, man. We have to redo this. 
I copied over the deleted save that it puts, dude, and I copied it over on the USB, which I had for backup, and I copied... Oh, my fucking God, I'm dumb, dude. I was on autopilot so fucking hard. Fuck, bro. That is not good, man. See how it says 0% complete? I copied over the one that got fucked for, from dying instead of... Yeah, dude. Wow. So we just lost five hours. Oh my God, dude. That is such a triggering way to end the night, dude. Tomorrow, thanks man, I need that. Well, we're not gonna get the plat by sitting around crying about it. So we jumped right back in to try and catch up to where we were at. And we still had a lot of butt clenching moments. What? No shot. Bro, bro. Oh God, Jesus Christ, leave me alone. Why is that one just standing there? Is it taunting me? Uh, he's just standing there, menacingly. Posture check, baby. That's a good, good plan, actually. I'm, f I'm already like prawning it a bit, you know. So as we were redoing the whole game, being that we, you know, ruined our save, everything was going fine, you know, it was, it was whatever. I kind of got over it and we were ready to do it. However, the game was constantly against me. Something that never even happened before. I would just go down a lift and once the lift stops, it usually turns blue, indicating that it's safe to get off the lift. Well, we go to get off the lift and I see that I'm falling through the map. So I instinctively quickly press start and I exit out of the game, and thankfully when I loaded back in, I wasn't dead. But I mean, come on, this game is literally like... You will never get this, you will never get this, la 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 la. Oh god. We did though, huh? We went in on that day, bro. We were streaming for like eight hours. That was trash. Alright, ready? Can we hit this from here, you reckon? Should we risk it for the biscuit? Dude, I don't know if we even got touched. Bro, what the fuck? It just got grabbed. Oh shit, I ran off the pack. Alright, ready? Platinum, baby. Platinum, baby. Let's go, bro. Aren't you thankful? A brave new world, boys. Brave new world, boys. We did it. Let's fucking go, man. We don't have to play Dead Space 3 no more, dude. The game crashes, that's fine. We got the trophy. I don't give a fuck, man. Didn't, 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 didn't. Let's go, boys. Platinum, baby. Oh, yeah, boys. The sweet ding. Dopamine. Entering the brain. Stop, don't do that. Don't say do my account. Like, stop. <laughs> like, what's going on, bro? It's done, boys. I want to thank everybody. You guys were the realest. You guys have been through a journey with me just as much as I've been through this journey. And it's been a good time, man. I will say, Dead Space 3 is, you know, most people hate the game. But you guys made it a lot more fun. And I appreciate you guys. I really want to thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate your time. Hopefully you had a great time with me. I had a great time making this for you guys. And uh, if you're one of my real ones who made it all the way to the end, why don't you leave a comment below that says, You will never get this. La, 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 la. And other than that, guys, I want to thank my Patreon and YouTube supporters. And we've got a lot more on the way. That's it. See ya. Twinkle, twinkle. <laughs>